This is how you save your calories and become super fat. Never walk. So it is show day number one for CES 2020. And uh, I just can't catch winds with these cars, man. Look at this. Look at my voltage on this Tahoe. It has been consistently going down. And going down. And then every once in a while, it'll just swing right back up to like 14. Um, it's not a good look. I gotta be honest. I'm kind of over the GM issues. Like the quality shit. And <laughs> I gotta be honest. Like if if this is something else that's going on with this truck. If, this, if there's something going on with this Tahoe. That's like electrical. I'm just done man. I'm just done with GM. I, I swear to God. I might just. I just might walk back away from everything American. Again, I know people will say, well, that's not fair. You're going to treat, you know, blame Ford and Dodge. And no, not, not necessarily, but this right here is ridiculous. You know, the truck is still running fine. Everything is lit up. I'm not having any issues with the driving of the truck. Maybe it's just a bad gauge, but for right now that voltage does not look good. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. And this is exactly what I'm talking about. And then you can see when I'm driving that it, it will go back up and as I keep it just keep creeping up until it gets to 14 and then it just slowly goes back down again if this is a known issue or if this is just something that just happens on you know a Chevy or a GM product let me know because right now it's driving me crazy and I don't know if it's a legitimate issue or not what is up guys TK here with TK's garage and we're outside here at CES 2020 we're about to go in and see all kinds of crazy stuff from what they say is flying cars from Bell to the Mach-E from Ford, the uh, car, a new car, uh, vehicle from Karma Motors, uh, the Lamborghini Aventador Evo, and just more and more and more uh, automotive stuff. So we'll have to see how that goes. But anyways, let me know what you guys think. We're going to go ahead and go into the show and get started. Now this is something different here guys. This thing right here, absolute thing of beauty right there. Who wouldn't want to roll that? This thing right here is absolutely ridiculous. Ridiculous. So this is a some type of karma. Now, if you don't know, that came from the what was left over of the Fisker Company. The innovation stage to learn about Panasonic's leadership in smart mobility. This thing right here is absolutely beautiful.
this is not a bad first thing to see when you come in the door in the automotive section I like this <coughs> this must be the NSX no is it it's got a Honda logo just the NSX here though This is that new electric Mustang. And because it's fully connected, owning the Mustang Mach E is as simple and as easy as driving. So wherever you're going, it's going to start to work with you, even before you get in the driver's seat. So no more hunting for your keys. With four apps, your smartphone is your key. Damn. So let's just imagine you're leaving your office. You lose your phone and somebody steals your car. <laughs> Well, four pass can help you locate your vehicle, check your charge status, and even preset the cabin temperature while you're packing up to leave. How great is that? And as you approach the car, it recognizes you, so the lights will come up. And anything can unlock your vehicles before you get to the door. And by the time you get there, you'll let them go. Now, the locking features are next generation Ford Sync, which is going to be more intuitive and personalized than ever before. Because right now it sucks. based on your regular activities, like stopping for coffee on your way to work. And this next generation of sync was redesigned to take full advantage of the built-in high-speed I just want to know how empty that shell is that they got hanging on this wall. Live data traffic and the best routes. Let me know what you guys think about the electric Mustang. Let's go take a look at the real thing, shall we? So we can seamlessly add charging stations to your route. And that's going to ensure that you're going to reach your destination. And it's also going to provide you with charging suggestions and alerts yes. for complete yes, charging confidence. So we know that 80% of charging is done at home. So that's why we can do a Ford mobile charger. I don't know. What do you guys think? Is the GT thing, a, is, is the GT badge blasphemy on this thing? With 30,000 plugs at more than 12,000. This is the ass end of the uh, Mach-E. I don't know, man. I think this, I don't know, man. I don't know why Ford put Mustang's name on it. I don't know. Let me know in the comments. Am I wrong? Now, here's something that's been around. This is the uh, M Byte. Now, Byton has been claiming to drop a car now for, what, three seasons? Maybe it's only two seasons at CES. I don't know. But it's been at least. Uh, that's it, yeah, I think maybe it's three seasons. So. What do you guys think? Do you think Biden is an actual player? Or they're going to actually bring something to market to finally compete with Tesla? Because if they do, I'm all down for it. Like, some of this stuff, the integrated... Um, you know, the intuitive stuff in the cabin. I'm down for it. What do you guys think? Well, guys, that's pretty much it for day one for me. Uh, picking up on all the automotive stuff today. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. And uh, what you guys want to see over the rest of CES. This is definitely my favorite. Um, they have... Yeah, the combos, don't worry the combo. I would just get the... Well, first time you come, maybe you get the combo. It's coming to court and leave, but... I would, I would get the beef stuff. All the beef stuff are pretty good. Here. This one is the kind of thing. Let's see. Mmm.